Hi everyone, David here back again with another YouTube video. So today's video is not going to be political. Today's video is going to be human. So I'm going to title this video, It's Okay to Not Be Okay. Because I know personally I've struggled with that. I've struggled with my feelings of anxiety, um, some feelings of depression and things like that, that have come up during this pandemic, during these restrictions, during this lockdown. And I want to say that every individual will be affected differently. Some people might be completely fine. They have no anxiety about the pandemic, about work, you know, their lives are okay. And it really just depends where you are in the world, which part of the country you're in, which state you live in, which county you live in, um, if your job is affected or not, if you're an essential worker or not. Really, it just affects everyone differently. Uh, if you're in the mental health industry, if you're a therapist, I want you to know it's okay to have feelings, it's okay to be anxious, it's okay for your mental health to start acting up just a little bit because you know what, you're human too. And I understand that you might be used to caring for other people, but you gotta care for yourself first because if you can care for yourself, you'll do so much better at caring for others. And I really felt weak for having these feelings at first. I felt like I wasn't strong enough to deal with, with my emotions and my anxiety. And I realized that I shouldn't beat myself up over that. This is unprecedented territory that we're in and it's affecting us all differently. If you're an extrovert, the social distancing might be a huge blow to you because you really rely on that social communication in person. Zoom meetings aren't the same thing. Uh, and there are some protesters out there as well who might be protesting things like their businesses being closed and I totally empathize with that. So many people are losing their jobs, are losing their businesses, and they have put their entire life, their heart and soul into these businesses, and it breaks my heart to hear about businesses closing down. It really does break my heart. And if you're protesting to have your business reopen, I can totally understand that, 100%. That's tough. Um, but you know, it really just depends on the individual and the family and the, the where you live, because it's really affecting people differently. Um, if you're protesting about things that might not seem as big like haircuts or going to the gym, I'm gonna admit to you guys that when I heard about these protests, protests at the beach, protests at the gym, protests at um, haircut salons because people want haircuts, I got really upset. Small businesses were more understandable, but understanding why people were so upset about other things that seemed more trivial to me, I had a hard time accepting. But I had to take a step back and really try to empathize with these individuals, um, especially people who want to go to church. For, for some people, going to church is their place of social support. If you just strip that away and try to do it over video, it's not the same. And a lot of people really rely on each other, especially in religious services. When it comes to the gym, so many people use physical exercise to manage their mental health. In fact, Physical exercise really helps me personally stay calm and I'm lucky enough to have space where I can exercise. I have dumbbells at home. I could even jog in my backyard. That's not a privilege that other people have. And you know, you might be in a very confined space and that can cause feelings of claustrophobia, that can cause feelings of isolation and loneliness and I don't want you to feel guilty for feeling that way. Obviously, I can't give you permission to fill, but I'm giving you permission to fill. And I want you to give yourself permission to fill, fill as well. Negative feelings, positive feelings, your feelings are valid. If you are a frontline worker, if you are a nurse, and you are upset at protesters, your feelings are valid too. That's your perspective. And if I was an ER nurse, I think I would be really upset too to see people protesting. I know in, in New York, some people actually slashed the ER nurse's tires in a parking structure, um, that is not okay. I can empathize with people, but I think that's where you cross the line. You should not do property destruction on people who are literally saving lives. It's just not okay. But, but, but what I'm trying to say is that this is affecting everyone differently. We all have our own perspectives. It's okay to disagree with people. It feels nice when we agree with people, but we're not always going to agree with people. But that's one of the beautiful things about humanity. We each have our own opinions. We each have our own perspectives. We each have our own weaknesses and strengths and different levels of social support. So like I said, it'll affect us all differently. 
And I just want to let you guys know that it's okay to fail. Don't beat yourself up. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others, even if you don't agree with them. We really are in this together. I think of humanity as a whole, as my family, um, even the people that I don't like. They're family. And we really got to open up our hearts to them, even if we don't understand them. Um, and for people who, who I mentioned earlier, protesting about haircuts or things that may seem trivial to others, you have to understand that growing up with this privilege and suddenly having it taken away from you without you having a say in it, that's not a good feeling. You know what? Maybe when they're protesting about haircuts, it's not really about protesting about the haircuts. Maybe they just feel like their sense of freedom and control has been ripped away from them. And that's definitely something I can empathize with. That's not a good feeling. Nobody likes their sense of control taken away from them. Anyways, I don't want to rant too long. I want to keep this video a little bit shorter. But it's okay to not be okay. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Reach out if you need help. For all you know, that person might need help just as much as you. And they might have been hiding their feelings. It's okay. You're not alone. I promise you are not alone. And um, sound off in the comments how you feel. You might meet some other people who feel the same way that you do. Like this video, share it, and subscribe if you haven't already. I plan on making some more videos, just some real talks, no editing. I gave up on editing my YouTube videos. I'm going to be real with y'all. And I'm a chatterbox, so it's not like I'm going to have too many awkward pauses. If I do, my apologies, but I think what's really important to me is just being raw and real and telling you how I truly feel and just encouraging people to share their perspectives and use their voice because really that's what's going to help us feel better during this difficult time and help us feel empowered within ourselves. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. We got more coming soon. We. I got more coming soon. It's like I'm a whole, I made it sound like I have a whole YouTube team. It's just me, y'all. Me and my mug. And maybe some dogs in the background if you can hear them barking. The reason I'm outside is because it's nice and tranquil. I don't have to worry about anyone interrupting me while I film. So I might just keep this format. If it bothers you, I'm sorry. I got this headphone. I hope it doesn't pick up too many external sounds. But anyways, I'm going to end this video because I'm starting to rant again. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Mwah.